Congressman John Lewis has called Donald Trump's presidency illegitimate, but not many people have been willing to ask the obvious follow-up question. If Trump isn't the legitimate president, who is? One person who has made that argument is Huffington Post writer Alex Mahajer. He wrote a piece on Sunday calling Hillary Clinton, quote, the rightful president-elect of the United States, and said a federal judge ought to intervene to keep Trump from taking office and hand the presidency to someone else. Mr. Mahajer joins us from Los Angeles. Alex, thanks for coming on. So how does, this, me, how does this work exactly? I mean, the rest of us sort of assume that once you win the presidential election, you know, you get to be president, but you say no. Well, my argument is that uh, 66 million Americans voted for Hillary Clinton. She won the, she won the popular vote by 3 million uh, votes or so, about 2.1 percent. And uh, there are legitimate questions as to the way that Donald Trump won the election, particularly with regard to the Russian interventionism. And then, of course, FBI Director James Comey's uh, letter to Congress the week before the election that was meant to uh, bring about questions as to criminal wrongdoing by the Democratic nominee a week before yeah. the election, which we have evidence that shows that uh, had, it had an impact on the outcome of the election, that late-breaking voters decided in mass, uh, late-deciding voters, rather, um, decided that they were going to vote for Donald Trump in a way that skewed the election for him. So, yeah, I mean, uh, being under a, FBI investigation does different. not help. No, I, I, I wouldn't doubt that at all. But to the Russian thing, so the reason I want to talk to you is you had this piece in the Huffington Post about this. And it was long, and you had bullet points listing all the reasons, and a lot of people shared that piece. It was widely read. One of yes, the that's right. bullet points you gave on there, I think it was number three, you put up on, and I think we have it on, on the screen, you put up a page from a magazine from 1987 that you said shows, and this piece claims, that Donald Trump was 30 years ago recruited by the Soviets to run for president of the United States. This is a piece from a publication called Executive Intelligence Review. It's from your piece, keep in mind. Do you know what Executive Intelligence Review is? <laughs> it's a news publication. It's uh, the EIR. They have uh, lots of archives of stories going back through the 80s. <laughs> and that uh, article you, is detailing... Go on. But, but do, you, do you know who publishes it? There's a bit of a delay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, do you know who publishes... Executive Intelligence Review. It's, it's the Lyndon LaRouche cult, the anti-Semitic cult. Lyndon La LaRouche, that's right. Yeah, Lyndon yeah, LaRouche. I'm aware. So, oh, you're aware of that? Okay. So you put up as your evidence a piece of propaganda from the Lyndon LaRouche newsletter, okay? Why didn't you just go with like a Scientology pamphlet or Heaven's Gate or something? I mean, is that, do you really think that's a legitimate, <laughs> that's a legitimate news source? <laughs> You, uh, Tucker Carlson, you were the, you created, you were the editor-in-chief of the Daily Caller, which yes. for a decade, like a decade, call, you know, called into question Barack Obama's legitimacy as a president based on his race well, and other uh, racially well, of motivated. of course it didn't say I mean, that, but it, it's, but I'm so not, I'm not Are you an illegitimate cult? journalist because you, no, well, no, no, I'm, I'm are not, you an illegitimate I'm journalist because you, your, your very own website uh, uh, ran some pretty racist, terrible junk and that didn't, that didn't one. stop you, did it? Name one, tough well, guy. let's you go can't. look at, let, yeah. go, go Google but, it, there's a lot. So, Alex, look, are, are you, so you're the standing by this, you knew that you were quoting, you were quoting a Lyndon LaRouche since 1987 as legitimate. I, I am saying that since 1987, Donald Trump has been taking all expense paid trips to Russia on the expense uh -huh. of the Russian Russian government and then claims to the United States uh, government, to the United States populace, that he has no relationship with Russia, that he knows nothing about Russia. No, no, that's that not what no you were claiming. With that's not, I just read your piece, Alex. That's what you were claiming. Th no, no, that that's is not what, what I, you were claiming. That is what I'm nope. saying in the piece. I can read I'm it. I'm saying you. that he has lied. He has no. lied to the American people and been very dishonest. You were saying about his that the Soviets chose him for president. Okay. So you're going to stand by that? That's not what I, I, I said. That. That's not what I. You, well, you, actually, you're going to have to go reread the article. I just read I, it about I said 10 that minutes they, ago. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> so let me give just it a reread. I, <laughs> okay. If, I, I'm tempted okay. to end this right now because you're saying, well, Lyndon LaRouche is a legitimate news source, but I just want to keep going because I want to no, have a couple no, questions. So I, you, you're saying not, in that's this. That's not what I'm saying. Let me, let me, just, let me just say something, Tucker. Oh, actually, you are saying I don't, that, I think. I don't, I know, no, no, I don't say that you are a crappy journalist because of the Daily Caller. I'm, I'm saying, saying that there is a piece that suggests something. I'm not going to, I am it's not a piece speaking by to a the lunatic, publication. Alex, come into and, it, And the son. Daily that Caller, what, totally and Daily in, Caller in the Daily is Caller. a... And the Daily Caller <laughs> is, is a so very racist, offensive, okay. right-wing publication. <laughs> I mean, my point, do you okay, see let, my point? Me, I'm not speaking point. to the Your publication, I'm speaking but to the piece. Me, 
You're pointing well, the publication to make a point honest. that the piece complain, uh, contains. Let me ask you one last question, and this is a philosophical right. one. No, you're, you're, you're trying question. to conflate the you're trying to conflate the piece with anything. the publication, I'm pointing and, then, to your and then have me res be responsible for it. Let me just ask right. you, if I could, a for one? a second, a philosophical question, right. which is this: You say that we need to remove Donald Trump from the presidency for the sake of democracy. So you had over 60 million people vote for him, and you're saying. That's that not what I said. One judge or a panel of judges removing him would be more democratic than the election results. It seems like the opposite if of democracy. If it is found, to me. no, if it is found that there was wrongdoing, such as uh, collusion with the, with the Russian government to hack our elections, or with the FBI director to purposefully release a letter that he knew was bogus. So you the think there was collusion uh, between the Trump I think and the, the FBI director? We'll see the Department the of Justice is investigating this. A the Department of like Justice you, is now who throw something out there with no Excuse evidence me? is distressing. You know, and shame on the Huffington Post. No, for you know what is garbage. distressing. You Interview know what's distressing over, is that people. Done. Yeah, it's that people on the name of partisanship won't uh, listen to each other's arguments. It's that you I'm call me a crackpot instead of listen. No, the, the, the difference I'm, is. I was is trying that to listen, this and constant, you're alleging this, things may I say that you can't know. No. Because of this constant partisan squabbling, that no, and I'm frustrated because instead of this constant partisan squabbling, and I write this you in my ran piece, a partisan we've been so trained to make this Democrat this versus Republican, Done. but it's, it's it's you ran you're a Democratic political operative. Sorry about that. Up next, Senator Lindsey Graham, one of the Senate's 